So we're in Barcelona, it's Mobile World Congress 2022, and I'm here with Jeff Hollingworth, the CMO of Rakuten Symphony. So Jeff, good to see you. Great to see you, Rakuten. Glad you got here, all yep. the way from the uh, other side of the Atlantic. Um, Rakuten Symphony, for some people that might still be a sort of a, a, a new name. Um, how is it different from Rakuten Mobile? How are the two companies related and um, you know and how long has Rakuten Symphony been around now? Yeah so and this is a common question thing so let, let's clear that up. So in 2018 Rakuten the group which is like the Amazon of Japan decided that they were going to go into building a mobile network. So in 2018 they started building the fourth mobile network in Japan and that is called Rakuten Mobile in Japan. And when they were building that, they decided there was no point in building it in the traditional way because they knew they couldn't compete. And to, to Mickey Tani uh, San that spoke, who's the chairman of the group, uh, he said they probably couldn't afford to do it. So they went to a very radical software based cloud native uh, design to build that network in Rakuten Mobile. And, it was obvious to them because their, their background was an internet software company. So that's how you would do it if you were coming from that direction. Now, at that time, they had no intention to do anything other than build the fourth mobile network in Japan. But then they realized that they had built this operating model and package of software platforms that are actually very valuable to the rest of the industry. So in August 2021, they announced the formation of Rakuten Symphony. And Rakuten Symphony then is the company that takes all of the software that's developed in Rakuten Mobile and makes it available, generally available as we say in telecom, to all other operators around the world. And the simple analogy is a bit like the relationship of AWS to Amazon. So Amazon runs on AWS infrastructure, they build AWS infrastructure to meet the needs. So they, they are an operator and they are a vendor, which gives you a real good power of making sure that what you're giving the market is something that's actually valuable. So, I mean, Symphony really, this is, almost, this is a new model, really, for telecoms, isn't it? I mean, you know, there's been the odd thing here or there where a, a network operator has developed a technology and it becomes a product that others can get. But this is, this is, this is a stack, isn't it? Because uh, one and one in Germany is going to be using and, and building, having its network built and then run using Symphony. So this is shaking the, the industry up, isn't it? So, so this is foundationally changing the center of gravity from hardware to software in telecom. And that's a transformational shift. And telecom is no different from any other industry from this point of view. If you drive a Tesla, you're driving a software experience with wheels. Now fintech banks are a software experience where it's not a physical building. So that transformation has to happen in telecom. And some people would argue that it should have happened a lot earlier. We're speaking about this. We started with the discussion of cloud in 2009, 2010 in the industry. But it's always very difficult to change the status quo. It really starts to take a force of nature. And the power, I think, of Rakuten Symphony is it is that force of nature. It, it has the financial backing. Again, uh, Mickey Tani san on stage this morning said that we're all in and if we go bankrupt, we'll start again. But there is, there's no half measures here. You don't go halfway. And I think to change things, just like Elon Musk with Tesla, Elon Musk with SpaceX, you have to really do it. And that's what I think, I think the time is right. Okay. Well, some people might argue that, uh, that, that maybe it's still a bit too early. I mean, the cloud in, in telecoms, like you say, has been around for quite a long time. But um, there's maybe not the, hasn't been the acceleration that one might have imagined in the last few years. 
Do you think the timing is right for Symphony and do you think that this will finally pull the industry to where it maybe should have been? Yeah, I, it's a really great question about timing because I think you can always say the time is not right. I would argue that what we should be measuring ourselves in telecom against is not ourselves, but all other technology companies around us. And the brutal truth of our industry is that we're no longer competitive with other technology leaders that are next generation service providers. And we're not competitive because we seem to have got caught in this trap that we believe there's generational change that's required to do something. And that generational change only happens once every 10 years. And increasingly, when that change turns up, it delivers a false hope. Because at the end of the day, it's not really about that technology. That technology will help you be more efficient, help you deliver more for less, but it doesn't transform your operation, how you do, but it doesn't change a business model for you. And that's, that's what we have to start looking at. And we have to start looking at the ability to move faster. So, I mean, for some, Symphony is still a new name, but that's not the only new name that you've been bringing to market. There's also SimWorld. Uh, what is SimWorld? Can you just sort of encapsulate what this is? Yeah, so SimWorld is the software platform that's already live in all of the customers that we're actually delivering to today in all over the world. You've, you've seen, like, the, of course, the one and one in Germany. It started in Japan. We've announced a deal this morning that we're just starting collaboration with AT&T around this. SimWorld is the software platform that has digitalized all of the processes required to run a telecom business. And inside there, you go from planning, to deployment, to securing, to monitoring, to operating. And the power of it is that all of those stages share the same data underneath. It starts to build the profile of your complete operation, which then allows you, of course, to start doing optimizations to that operation across the board. And you can automate because you have a complete end-to-end -end perspective. So these basic capabilities in this platform are what are required to actually start doing things like zero-touch provisioning. Because if you haven't got the basics, you can't get to the next level up. It's a bit like trying to win the 100 meters in the Olympics without doing the hard work of the training before. So it's a great idea, but it, it tends not to deliver the result that you perhaps wanted. So we've got the Symphony name that some people are still getting used to. We've got SimWorld. Are we going to see other derivations? For example, might we see the simple network planner or the simple network operating system? So it's like me asking you a question, Ray. Is that simple with a Y or simple with an I? And immediately after this show, we're absolutely going to start presenting and educating people on the actual applications inside the platform. Because one of the key messages that we want to deliver to the industry is that this isn't smoke and mirrors. This is what's already in operation in Japan, and it's already what we're using with all the customers we're working with around the world. And the key message for Rakuten Symphony, it, for me, this is a marketer's dream. Because normally, in this industry, marketing people are asked to position and message around something that doesn't exist in the hope that somebody wants to buy it to when people then try and build it. And obviously, that doesn't really deliver good change. It's the exact opposite here. These people were so busy in Rakuten Mobile solving the business problem that they, they haven't told anybody. So what we intend to do now is, is to try and explain as simply as possible how this works. Okay, well, we look forward to that and all the other potential combinations that you could bring out of this name. Jeff, great to talk to you today, thanks. Thank you, Ray.